Hello everyone, what is up? It is me, I'll be MTG, and for today's video I will be bringing you guys another episode of my Card Sphere story. I have been putting in a lot of effort behind the scenes on Card Sphere, and I can't wait to show you guys later on in the video. I have uploaded about $2,000 worth of cards to my Card Sphere inventory now, so I'm being matched up with other users who want my cards, and I have like 10,000 more cards that I still need to upload. I'm over here looking at this pile of cards, and it's... It's a lot of cards, but I I do want to get that done so that I can continue to pump out more episodes of these, and I do like the idea of trading up and um, turning some of these cards I'm not going to use into like modern staples, legacy staples, all this other kind of stuff. Um, right now, I think my main target is either going to be a playset of Snapcaster Mages or a uh, playset of each of the fetch lands, just so I can have the ability to play whatever decks I want to play in Modern. Modern is the format I'm playing the most right now, so that's kind of where my head is head is focused, but um, I have a lot of cards I need to ship out before I can even start thinking about that. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and show you guys the three packages I'm sending out today, and then when we get into the financial aspects, we will go ahead and take a look at my halves page, and I'll show you guys uh, the kind of work that I've been doing on there. So. Without further ado, we'll go ahead and start with the first package. The first package consists of three cards, starting with a Soren Grim Nemesis here from Shadows of Ernestrad. I have a lot of good memories here with this Soren playing in my first pretty good standard deck. Um, I managed to go undefeated for like two months, or maybe not undefeated, but I won FNM at least for like two months straight. Um, with the Soren Grim Nemesis and a black-white legendary deck, and it was a lot of fun to play that deck. There's old videos here on the channel, including a deck tech that uh, that, that include this card. Um, and now it's finally going to get a home in someone else's deck. It's time for time for Soren to go somewhere else. So, uh, next card we have in the package is Scattered Groves, one of these cycling lands here from Amonkhet. And then finally the last card is just a simple common here, Commune with the Gods. Um, but I'll go ahead and talk a little bit more about um, these commons once we get to the financial aspects of things. Because you'll see I'm actually going through and uploading all of the commons and uncommons that I own. Which is a lot of commons and uncommons. But I'm getting matched up with people who want them. And that's pretty much how this uh, Commune with the Gods got uh, added into the package. So uh, this has been package number one, Soren, Commune with the Gods, and Scattered Grove. Let me get Soren out here. There we go. That's the first uh, the first package here. And the next package consists of two cards, starting with a Blink Moth Nexus here from Modern Masters 2015. I have my playset set of Blink Moth Nexus from the original Modern Masters, and so I have this one and another Modern Masters 2015 Blink Moth Nexus that I'm ready to unload. So sending out this one, and the other card in the package here is a Skyline Despot, I think is how that's pronounced, maybe Despo, um, but it's like a 7-mana flyer that cares about the Monarch. Um, not really any play outside of Commander to this thing, so um, happy to unload that to a Commander player who most likely wants this. And then the final set of packages we have here is a Dragon Lair Spider. Again, this is a very cheap card, not the type of card that someone may have uploaded to um, cards here because it's like 50 cents or less, but again, I went through and uploaded all these cards on there and I'm getting mashed up with people who want them, and so it's very easy to send these off um, in packages now that I know that I have them already and that the people want them. All right, my apologies, my camera died out on me, but we have one last card here. I thought I could make it through before the camera died, but oh well. Uh, the final card we have here is Rich Car's Expertise. This is a pre-release promo version, um, the foil pre-release promo version, and so I will be sending this out along with the Dragon Lair Spider as well. Um, and so this has been the seven cards that I'm sending out. Uh, Dragon Lair Spider, uh, Rich Car's Expertise, Skyline Despo, uh, Blink Moth Nexus, Commune with the Gods, Scattered Groves, and finally Soren Grim Nemesis. All of these will be getting a new home here very soon, and we'll go ahead and talk about the financial aspects of things right now. Alright guys, here we are on my Cards for your Sending page. Before we actually get into the sending, I'll show you guys the updated halves list that I have here. Um, and so you can see I have about $2,000 right now in cards uploaded, 1,578 different cards. And you can see that they're not all just, like, expensive cards. I do have some expensive cards uploaded, like um, the Masterpieces and Invocations. Those kind of cards are already in here. But just random cards like Aberrant Researcher that no one will probably want, Abstruse Interference, 
Um, what else is in here? A bunch of Academy Drakes. Like, these are the kind of cards I'm not expecting to trade off very quickly, um, but it'll be nice knowing that I already have them, and so when people just want them randomly thrown in, I'll be able to include them. Um, and I have, I believe, like I said, I think earlier on I said it was around 10,000 cards still left to go. It might actually be a little bit more than that now that I'm looking <laughs> and seeing just how many boxes that I actually have to, to upload. But it's going to be quite the long task, and I have, like like I said, just a bunch of cards here. Um, and what's nice about Card Sphere is that you're able to pause if you don't want to trade something. So here you'll see All Hammered's Archive. Um, this is a card I'm holding on to for a little bit longer, so I have trading on it paused, which means I'm able to upload it onto my inventory and say, look, I still have this card, um, but then I don't have to be swarmed on my sends list because um, I have this paused, and so those, will, th those won't show up. Um, but without further ado, we'll go ahead and get into the sending and talk about the prices. So first up is Dragon Lair Spider at 33 cents. Um, you can see index price of 45 cents, percentage of only 73%. This is a little bit lower than what I normally like, but uh, you can see in comparison to something like 18% at about 8 cents, I'm more than happy to get 30 cents off of this card. Again, not a card that a lot of people want, so more than happy to unload it, and especially because it was in a package with another card that was a little bit more pricey here, being Rich Card's Expertise. Uh, $4.24 an index price, and I'm shipping mine off at $3.75, 88% here, uh, which is more than the 80% that I normally like. You can see some people down here um, going more around the 80% mark. This is closer to the 90% mark. Price has been going up a little bit, so maybe this was something I was supposed to hold on to, but uh, like I said, I'm probably never going to use this thing, and uh, I'm wanting to trade it up into something else. Um, when we look at the other top offers, there was another one here for 88%. This is actually the same person, um, but I uh, I only have one of them, so I can only send off one uh, to this person. But maybe if you guys have your own Rich Car Expertise foils that you're, uh, foil pre-release promos that you're looking to unload, then uh, Michael Barcelo here is a great person to uh, to unload them to. On to the second package, Blink Moth Nexus, for $5.25. Not too bad here, percentage of 89. Again, you guys know that I love the 80% mark, which is around what most people were getting for these. 78% in here, 72% is a little bit low down here. Um, but basically anything over $5 was what I was hoping for, and I got $5.25, so not too bad. When we look here at the the next top offers, four dollars and twenty one cents is the next closest. So I'm already making over a dollar more um, by trading it off to this person that I traded it to. It's all about being patient and being able to upload these cards. It's very nice um, to to have the ability to be patient and kind of say, look, my it might not be showing up in my send feed now, but but I know it'll show up later on. And uh, it's 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 very nice. It was a lot of work uploading these these first like 1,500 halves here. But um, like I said, I'm gonna go through and do the rest of these. Should make these videos come out quite a bit more often, which should be very nice. Um, but it's just a ton of work behind the scenes. I'm already doing a ton of behind the scenes stuff here for the YouTube channel, so it's gonna take quite a while for me to get it done. But we are in the process of of, of doing it. So uh, next card here, Skyline from a dollar seventy four. I traded mine off here at one forty six. It's above the eighty percent mark. Perfectly fine with me. Some people trading them around the fifty seven percent here. You can see that's only about a month ago, July twenty fourth, and then June twenty fourth was when the fifty seven percent went off. So I'm fine on loading here. Next closest was about a dollar on the top ten offers. So almost fifty cents more um, by sending it off to the person I'm sending it to. And then the final package here, the last three cards, Commune with the Gods here we'll start with. I got 15 cents for this, which uh, not too bad, 83%. Most of the time for commons, I'm willing to go basically anything over like 10 cents is pretty much just like an immediate send for me. Um, and there's no one else that wants these here, so happy to happy to be unloading this one uh, to, to this user for 15 cents at a percentage even above what I normally like, which is uh, 80%. And on to the next card, Scattered Groves at one dollar and sixty-two cents. Again, eighty percent. That's where I. That's where I like it. Uh, most most of these going for cheaper. Mine is the highest percentage on here, forty-eight percent, sixty percent, seventy-five percent, about in that range. But uh, here I'm sending mine off for one dollar and sixty-two cents. 
you can see uh, as these cards get closer to rotation, this is from Amonkhet, which is a set that will be rotating out of standard fairly soon. You can see the prices slowly going down over time in uh, in their index prices. 212 here just over a month ago, and then already down to 203. Again, it's like a difference in nine cents. It's not a ton, but you can see that they're slowly starting to shift down for these cards that are rotating out. And the final card here, Soren Grim Nemesis for four dollars and forty cents here. Um, index price of 517, so 85% here. Again, you can see I'm the highest percentage on this list. Um, index price being uh, $5.18 here when I send it out. Um, $5.17 now, not a big difference, but uh, there is just like, you know, a little bit of a difference. Um, and then again, like I said, I'm the highest percentage on this list. Always looking to be patient with my trades. I'm not trying to rush anything too fast and uh, finding finding good deals on here where I'm sending out above the 80% mark. So uh, these are the seven cards I'm sending out uh, this, or at least today. I shouldn't say this week, today. Um, Michael Barcelo receiving Dragon Lair Spider and Rishkar's Expertise. King Arthur getting a Blink Moth Nexus and a Skyline Death Spell. James Edelin getting Commune with the Gods, Scattered Groves, and Soren Grim Nemesis. If you guys did enjoy the video and you guys want to see more episodes of My Cards for Your Story, be sure to let me know down below in the comment section. There should be many more to come now that I have a bunch of cards uploaded to my halves list. Like I said, it's going to be a long task for me to get all these uploaded, but it's something I really want to do. And uh, it, uh, it's it's kind of like my big goal for the summer outside of content creation. Of course, content creation was like my number one big goal, and it's been going incredibly well. Um, but now it's time to, to tackle the second goal, which is this giant pile of commons that I'm looking at over there and uh, we're, we're gonna get them uploaded here we're gonna try and ship them out to people who want them more than I do and we'll see if we can trade them up and turn them into some some good cards so thank you guys so much for watching the video like I said leave a like if you guys enjoyed let me know down below in the comments section and I will see you guys here next time for another Magic the Gathering video